Okay, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. I am sitting in my laundry room and I am listing and I got some bids on a couple items. And I got a message yesterday about these items. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. And I am second guessing myself. So this is kind of just gonna be a little fun video because I feel like as resellers, we can all relate to this situation. So I wanna get your feedback. Plus I wanna ask you about the items. Maybe you know something I don't know. Totally out of my comfort zone, decided to list these. I have, I wanna say four, maybe five, maybe even six bags full of vintage clothing that I picked up at an estate sale. I started to list some of it and I'm like, I hate this. I hate it. I don't know what anything's worth. I hate doing measurements. I'm just going to put this stuff on whatnot. So sitting in my garage waiting for my first whatnot sale, which is going to be who knows when, but I will link down below my link to whatnot. If you guys want to follow me, um, and if you're new to whatnot, you can get $10 credit towards uh, your first purchase if you use my referral link down below. But go follow me. Um, I'm making whatnot piles. I am. I really am making piles. I'm going to do it. Okay, so let's talk about these items. Ah, did I mess up? All right, so the first item. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the email I got first. So this is what made me a little bit suspicious, okay? But I could just be reading totally into it. So here's what the message says. I am interested in buying this and the other red jersey. I need both for a costume next week and wondered if you would change to buy it now and combine shipping. So my first thought is, this is a reseller trying to snag these items for super cheap and doesn't want the auction to go all the way through and they know Halloween's coming and this is the perfect excuse. <laughs> That's just me thinking, okay, this is before it even had any bids. That's what came to my mind. Am I right? Maybe, maybe not. Like, why do you need two? Well, maybe they need two. Uh, so would you guys be like, hmm, or would you be thinking, maybe they just need it for a costume and it is what it is. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you All right, so here is the first jersey. Um, again, it's got a bid for $29.99. It has four watchers. Uh, this thing is very much damaged. I believe it could be Denison University, but I suppose it could be Ohio State. I think it's a college football jersey. <laughs> I think it's football. Really, I just have no clue. Um, but the person bidding on it, is not the person that emailed me. So I guess that's good news. Maybe it'll get another bid at least. But I was just wondering, did I price it too low? I always say start your auctions at the minimum you wanna get. So I started it at $29.99 based on the condition. Um, if this would have been in mint condition, I would have started it much higher. But now I'm like, I've had somebody send me a question and it already has a bid and there's still four days, almost five days left, okay? Here's the other one. Again, just really poor condition. This one I think has three watchers and it's at $29.99 buyer pay shipping. So what I decided to do is go over to vintage football jerseys put in college and I searched highest sold. So what I'm looking at here is one that sold for a best offer. They had it at $900, but this is just incredible. It's some holiday bowl and it's from Hawaii. It's just a cool jersey. So mine is not that cool. Uh, but let's look at some of these others. I would feel like this one's kind of close um, to what mine looks like as far as the pattern. But I don't know. Is it special? I, I really need your feedback. Anybody that knows about athletic apparel or um jerseys sports stuff i am absolutely clueless but i did want to show you some of these uh solds and there are also a lot of very low solds also 
Let me go into, let's search lowest first. Again, I don't recommend anybody ever starting their auction at 99 cents. I always say start it at the lowest you want to take because you can always relist that item at a buy it now. Otherwise, you take the risk of selling your item for 99 cents, which who wants to do that? Um, we all know it's more valuable than that, especially if it's a vintage jersey. So there are many, many that went for under $30. So maybe I'm just getting lucky or maybe I have something really special that I underpriced. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, do you think it's Denison University? Do you think it's Ohio State University? Uh, is there a way to tell? Is there a way to date it? I mean, I don't know how old this thing is. It looks super old. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say, I have no idea, but it's really old. I don't think it's an antique, but it, I mean, it's got some years on it. It's got some age, or maybe it's just really, um, really beat up. All right, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I am currently listing this bag of stuff. I'm supposed to be taking this and all of the money pile from my garage to my basement so that I can get my car in the garage. But every time I pull something out of the tote in the garage, I'm like, oh, that would sell really good right now. I need to list that. And that's what I've been doing all week. So I'm getting lots of new items up in my eBay store, but I'm not getting the stuff to the basement. Um, yeah, kind of an epic fail there. But um, I just need to do that because winter is coming, snow is coming, and I do not want to have to scrape the snow off my car. I, I'm just not a fan of that. Do you guys like snow? Do you have snow where you live? I mean, you may live somewhere where it's sunny all year round. Ooh, that would be nice. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Check out one of my other videos. I mostly talk about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. Um, also have videos that tell you what not to sell on eBay because policy violations, bureaus, they will get you. So check out those videos. And I just said the word what not. Speaking of what not, I still plan to sell on there. This is an update. Um, I have from this same estate, like six, maybe eight bags full of vintage clothing. I started to list some of them. I sold a skirt, I think for like 80 bucks. I got these jerseys up, but I just can't get excited about it. I just, I don't like the measurements. I don't like the research. I just want to do hard goods. So I think I'm going to bring those clothes to whatnot. Haven't fully decided, but if you're not on whatnot, there's a link down below and you can join with that and get a $10 credit to shop. That is my referral link. It'll also take you over to my Bolo Buddies, whatnot, and you can follow me. So I would love that. And again, I'm probably going to bring these vintage clothes to whatnot. I will say a lot of them have like some issues like these jerseys, but that doesn't mean that they're not worth money. Um, and a lot of people know how to um, like, let me give you an example. So I have this right here and this one is it's Vanity Fair, which Vanity Fair is a fantastic um, vintage brand. And it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of yellowed, but maybe I feel like it's a little yellowed. You guys see it? But maybe there's a way to get that out. I don't know. I, I just don't know if I want to mess with all of these. I literally have two trash bags full of vintage lingerie. Want me to show you another one? I'll actually show you two more. So this one is called Barbazon. And it's a slip. It's nylon. And it's got this pretty little lace detail at the bottom. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to put these on eBay. I don't know if I'm just going to be lazy and bring them to whatnot. Oh, and this one is beautiful. I think I am going to list this one on eBay, but I don't know. I just, I keep saying that and it just keeps sitting. Again, it has a little bit of yellowing. I know people soak things and they have ways to do all that. I don't want to do all that. Don't want to do all that. So I'd be selling. I did run them through the washing machine just to, you know, because it's vintage lingerie. Um, just to kind of 
clean them and sanitize them, but I did not put any stain remover or do any soaking or whatever that special stuff is you can do with special ingredients. This one is Henson Nickerick, Nick, Nickerick, Nick, Nickernick. Anybody know that? Size 34, 100% nylon. I'm guessing this is made in the USA. This one is really, really stunning. Um, it's so cute. It's got the little flowers. So, I don't know. I kid you not, like, tons of this stuff. All right, so follow me on whatnot. Those might be coming. I don't know. I haven't decided. Let me know your feedback if anybody sells vintage lingerie. I have listed some, but um, again, I'm just... I'm not excited about it. So I'd rather just take it over to whatnot and just do it fast and move it out so I can get my car in the garage. Thanks for watching.